Woods Park, still without a fish. Ryan Pike is here, and he is our fishing guide today. And it's a little chilly out here, but you said this is just another day for you. Yes, this is definitely another day. That's definitely why they call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> yeah. hey, That's can, true. Can, can you real quick tell us, so you were out here last last week yeah. when it was really cold. Yeah. Did you catch anything? Did, was it at least worth it being out here when it was cold? No, no, it was not <laughs> worth it. No, no, no. I, I was out here to test my limits uh, as a human. Um, <laughs> And Why? <laughs> it's just something that some people like to do, just, just to see how, see how far they can push themselves. So, but it, I mean, we caught a few fish. We did catch a few fish, but um, it definitely wasn't uh, wasn't uh, very fast. Okay. Fast paced. So a lot of folks maybe haven't tried ice fishing at all. What are some things they need to know if they want to come out with the kids on a nice day? Um, bring your patience. Have those in your back pocket, definitely, and um, come out and just be ready to uh, be in have some pos positive encouragement for the kids. Sure, and so there's a big event coming up on the 18th. Maybe the first time some folks, some kiddos, will come out and try ice fishing for the first time. What do you uh, expect when, uh, what is it, Saturday? I suppose it's yeah. a Saturday, the 18th. What do you expect on that day for kids? You, a big turnout? Oh yeah, I, I'm really hoping with, with all the publicity that we've been getting from everybody from from KTTC, from uh, our local radio stations around the, uh, the county here, we should have a great turnout and uh, this ice should be completely full of kids. That will be fun. We just need the perfect weather for it. Hopefully, yes. hopefully we will have a nice day. It's a free event. There's yes. some prizes, some drawings. You have the gear for the kids? Yes, yes, all the gear and the bait, everything's provided. We should have a, a little bit of food out here. We'll have drinks. Um, the bathroom's way up on top of the hill, but there is a bathroom right up there. So everything we really need as humans, we should have on this ice that day. Ages like three to 15? Yeah, ages 3 to 15, come on down and have a great time. Parents can come with them, hang out, watch them fish? Yes, parents are encouraged to come. And if you, and if you want to fish with your kids, come on down with a, with a valid Minnesota fishing license. Yeah. You can come on down. Okay, so you mentioned bait. What are we fishing with here today? Yeah, so right now we're fishing with what's what's called a jig. It's a, it's a, a tungsten jig and a piece of plastic that's made into a grub. Um, there's, there's special plastics that they make to to draw in the fish that look like the species of of water bugs that live hmm. in the water. Okay. You said you said the one that I'm using right now smells like something too, right? Yeah, yeah. So the one that the one that he smells uh, the the one that he's using smells or it's marinated in what's called black licorice sm scent. And it smells like black licorice and for some reason they like black licorice. And in the in the summer, one of my favorite baits smells like coffee. So Yep, that's uh, that's the bait. Funky. So yeah. Chester Woods gets to about 40 feet at some spots. Yeah, right over to our right here, uh, the main basin there does does get to about 40 feet on a on a good rain year. Um, it does go up and down with the rain, but uh, yeah, it's about 40 feet. And the thickness of ice that we're seeing right now, you can technically drive on ice this thick, but you can't drive a motorized vehicle here at Chester Woods. Correct. No motors on this water in its entirety. But yes, it's about 15 inches thick, and where we're at right now, there's only about two inches of what's called white ice. And the white ice is this stuff that's a little bit finicky for us mm -hmm. ice fishermen. So you have some rods over here. What do people need if they want to try fishing for the first yes. time? Where do they go to purchase some of this equipment? So um, buy local. There's a you, you've got you've got shields your your main your main um, fishing headquarters. You've got Minsky bait and tackle. Um, there's a couple of guys around town that are custom. Um, ice fishing rod makers. Do you use custom rods? Yes, mostly all of my rods are made by somebody right here local. Okay. So like this one here, this this rod here is made by a company called Sub-Zero Angling. And uh, they're one of their one of their their main builders who builds these handles, these hand turned on a lathe handles. He's uh, f from right here in Rochester, Minnesota, and head to toe this thing is custom made right here in Minnesota. What does a rod cost? This one here is probably around $120 okay. just for the rod, and then you have to add, obviously add a reel and the and the line. Um, but what Nick. we're using over here with Nick, he's using one that I that I had made, and this rod builder's out of the cities, out of the Twin Cities area. So that purple rod there is out of the Twin Cities. The little tiny green rod over there is out of the Twin Cities, and that one is more of a mainstream custom rod made out at the cities as well. So there's a lot of options if you want to test your luck at ice fishing. You really don't need too much. You need some bait, you need a rod, you need yes. an auger to drill the hole and that's about it. Yeah, yeah, you don't have to be as fancy as I am, but when you're as passionate, you get a little bit uh, a little bit farther than a hobby. 
and uh, you kind of push your limits a little bit uh, yeah. in, in your pocketbook. And you have a uh, motorized auger, which is yeah. which is nice. Um, I remember growing up, we used to use the one that you crank with your hands, so that can be a little challenging. Why don't you do sure. one hole here as we go to break? Anything people need to know if they're going to get an auger? Yes. So um, with the, with the new technology, we're we're putting normal drills on top of of a, a big old auger and getting rid of the gasoline powered augers we're getting sure. rid of the propane or phasing them out rather phasing out the propane augers and going into the to this so. all right we'll have you drill another hole here and we're going to take it to break hopefully we'll have a fish by the end of the show i don't know <laughs> we'll be right back okay A live cameras. Lewiston Auto live cameras.